Hey everybody, that's right, it's your girl, Old Tennessee North, mm-hmm, with another one of those videos, mm-hmm, in case you say, here she go again, yeah, here I go again, with another one of them videos that take you back a ways. Now, Old Tennessee North is 59. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm from the 60s. Well, I was born in the 60s, but I was raised in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of these videos, it's about stuff that I used to love eating when I was growing up. Stuff I like eating now. Mm -hmm. But today is about something that, ooh, is one of my favorites. Mm hmm fried corn and the only way to get good fried corn is off the cob now you can get it frozen corn and you can get canned corn that's not good fried corn you have to take it off the cob to really get good fried corn mm -hmm. now I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of different ways and nobody is wrong. It's just the way you brought up. Mm hmm So I'm going to show you how Tennessee North was brought up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you how, how I like it. Mm-hmm. Now, don't come at me and say, well, Tennessee North, that, that ain't the way. Guess what? Look all around me. This Tennessee North house. Mm -hmm. And I'm Tennessee North. This my corn. I'm going to do it my way. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to show you is how I do it. Now, you might like the way I do it, and you might not. Mm -mm. And you might say, well, that ain't the way. And then you might say, hmm, that's a good idea. So, we'll see. See if you like my way. If you don't, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Leave me some comments. Maybe you got a better way. Maybe Tennessee North will try your way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't hard to please. Mm -mm. No. And I'm going to pair it with some fried apple. Yeah. These two go together. Mm hmm. Fried apple, fried corn. Mm hmm. My mama used to fry chicken with it. Mm hmm. Make some biscuits. Mm hmm. I ain't Tennessee no mama. I ain't frying no chicken today. Mm hmm. I ain't gonna make no biscuits. Mm hmm. But I did make some pork cutlets and gravy. Mm hmm. It ain't bad the pork cutlet today. I already made those. I'll let you look at them. Mm -hmm. It's about the corn and the apples. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make this video short. I say all of them short. Mm -hmm. So let me show you how I do it. Yeah. First, I've already taken some off the cob. Yeah. So, let me show you how I do it. Come on here to the sink. You need a sharp knife. Oh, 
Now you know how I do with this right here. What the cob look like when Tennessee North get through with it. Nothing on it. Mm -mm. So, let me show you how I do it. Maybe you agree. Maybe you don't. Now, always go go down. Tennessee North goes twice. I suggest that you do not go all the way down and cut up because what you're going to do is going to be tough corn. Mm -hmm. You're going all the way to the to the cob. It's gonna make it tough. So what you want to do is go two runs. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. So you go go the first run, and then you go again, right down the same layer. Turn the cob. Go down it again. Turn your cob. You got that little seam. Take it a second time. Because if you go all the way against that cob, you're going to get a tough tough corn. Then, after you go all the way around, you want to milk it. Take your knife, the sharp edge, and you want to scrape it. You're going to get the milk out. Turn it all the way. Because there's nothing left on that cob. All those little holes are empty. Let's try another one. Same thing. Do not dig in the corn. Take the first layer, go down one time, go again, sometimes you might can go a third time, but do not dig all the way to the cob on that first run, second run, Once you go all the way around, see how that is? That's the circuit run. Go a second time.
Sad comes off on the first run. Here it comes off on the second run. Now you can go around. See where the little seams is? You can go down. Now, milk it. Take the sharp part of your knife, scrape. Till your cob is completely empty. So all those little kernels is empty. Turn it around, get the other end. That's what you want to see. Empty. That's what you want to see. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why, I say, if you go all the way to the cob, you're going to take all that kernel off. It's going to be tough. Don't do that. Now, you can do what you want. I'm just trying to tell you what old Tennessee knows. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to start with the corn. Okay. Then, in the skillet, we're going to put some bacon. Any kind of bacon. But I prefer to use some smoked joe. See that? I've taken the skin off. The rhyme off. That's the edges. Mm hmm. I took the edge off. So to fry up easy. I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna cut it up in some little cubes. I'm going to put it in my skillet. So, the reason why you don't cut it up so it can, you know, I'm just going to cut it up. Like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the skillet. Then turn you around. We're going to let that fry up, then we're going to go from there. I 
that's not gonna take long. And while we're waiting on that, We're going to work on these apples. I've already cut up a few. But I saved a few so I can show you. Cut it in half. Now, I like the peelings on. Now, you're going to slice it, but you don't want to slice it too thin because you're not looking to get applesauce. You're looking to get fried apples. To cut it too thin, you're going to mess around and get applesauce. Pieces not like that. And you want to use green apples because green apples hold up better. The other apples, they get too soft and they'll turn to mush before you get them done. So I've cut up about six apples here. I'm not gonna make a whole lot. I'll cut around the core. Now you can peel it. You don't like the peeling. I like the peeling, and I'm going to put them in, because I can. Mm -hmm. Let me stir the bacon around. Now this bacon is not any kind of bacon, it's smoked bacon. So it has an amazing smell. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted smoked bacon. But you can use any kind of bacon. And if you don't do pork, you don't have to use any bacon. You can use oil if you want. You're going to also need some butter. Mm -hmm. 
See how the bacon is cooking? Now in this, then add some onions. Now I have this cut down real low because I don't want my onions to burn, but I want them to saute. Now in this corn, this is where we start seasoning. Scoot the apples over. In this corn, we're going to add some flour. Now, we're not going to add just any flour. We're going to take our seasoned flour. This is the same flour that you would flour, chicken, whatever. And we're going to put about maybe about three tablespoons of flour in there. You're going to stir it up. And you're going to add a little sugar. I would say probably about, about a tablespoon and a half depends on how you how sweet you like it might end up adding some more later but i'm not going to put any salt in there or black pepper because that was in the seasoning flour okay we're going to come around here i'm going to add some water to this i'm going to pull my skillet over And this is going to give it a milky look. And to this onion, that's how it looks. Now, I'm going to add some butter to this skillet. I'm going to add probably turn this around. About a half a stick.
onions. See how my onions have caramelized? Mm -hmm. That's going to add to the flavor. So now you got the flavor of the bacon, the onion, now you got the butter. Now you're going to pour the corn in. Now you want to turn it out because you want to, don't want to cook it too fast. Corn doesn't take long to cook. You want to get it done through and through. Now, once the bacon, I mean, excuse me, once the corn gets almost done, then we're going to put the bacon back in. Now, we're going to let it start simmering a little bit. Let me get a top. We're going to stir it from time to time. I'm going to put a top on it. Now we're going to focus on the apples. And here, we're going to put Put some butter in there. And get this
You don't need a lot of ingredients for apples. Now in my apples, I'm gonna put the apples, sugar, cinnamon, and just a little nutmeg. <clears throat> And I'm gonna add just a, just a little bit of oil, vegetable oil, just a little bit. Now the corn, you have to keep an eye on it and keep it stirred. Because corn will stick. So you always got to stir it often. Can't walk out the room and say, yeah, I'll come back to it now. Doesn't take long to cook, but you gotta constantly stir it. <clears throat> you don't want to scorch it. Now I might put a little more water in it because it's getting thicker. too thick before it gets done so you might have to add a little water from you know to keep it thin until it gets done boy if you could smell it now at this stage right here you can taste it see if it needs something clean spoon Right here, I know it needs some salt. And some black pepper. Plain spoon. Let me taste.
To me, I think it needs just a little more salt and just a little sugar. sugar just a little bit <clears throat> now this is where you, this is how you this is how you taste your food this is how you know once you start cooking it, this is where you know where you're at. Over here, we need to put our apples in. <clears throat> Want to turn it down? Perfect. Add your bacon back. Take your cinnamon on. <coughs> Just a little nutmeg. Just a little bit. Corn, you always gotta keep stirring it <clears throat> so it don't stick on the bottom.
And in that seasoned flour with this corn, in that seasoned flour, it was onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. That's why you didn't need to put anything else in there because it was already in the flour. Yeah. Now with that flour, I never put the meat over in that flour. I always shook that flour into something else and put my meat in that. Never over in the bowl. Never put the meat in that bowl. Now the corn is almost done. Stir the apples around a little bit. One of them doesn't jump ship. Look at that. Move it around a little bit. five more minutes and this corn will be ready. I'm going to put a top on these apples for just a few minutes. <clears throat> Give the apples a chance to soften up. Now I told you this video wasn't about the pork cutlets. But they're the pork cutlets. Mm-hmm. They're gonna go with this this corn and this apples. Yeah. It's not their video. Now, with this corn, you can also put green pepper in it. Cut you have some green pepper. Put your little green pepper in there. ready. I'm going to move this to the dry. Now we're waiting on the apples. <clears throat> yeah. Stir them around. I'm gonna let them get a little soft and then I'm gonna add the sugar. See, they're starting to get soft. I don't want them to get mush, but I want them to get soft a little. top on for a few more minutes. Okay. Hold on. Keep an eye on that for a minute.
And because I'm not making biscuits, I'm going to pair this with some uh, Hawaiian rolls. That'll work. It's going to work. Yeah. I'm not going to be okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's see. I'm going to wash my hands because I walked out of the room. See how they soften up? Okay. Now I'm going to put some sugar on them. Now this right here, it depends on how sweet you want your apples. Now if you want them kind of twangy, you know, have a little twang to it, put less sugar. That's about a half a cup of sugar. Let's see if that's a half a cup. Yeah, that's a half a cup. This was about seven apples. No, it was six. Six apples. See how they... Cut them off. Yeah, that's the way I like mine. Mhm. Mm now, if I put a top on it, it's gonna get more liquidy. I don't want that. I like them like that. I don't like a mush. 
Mm -hmm. Just like that. So let me plate it, let you see what the whole thing looks like. On one of these videos, I'm gonna get this camera right. So hold on. Well, okay. okay. Let's get some apples on here. And because the um, the pork cutlets wasn't started to show, but they was in the room. Let's put them on the plate too. Let me show you the picture for the thumbnail. The corn. The um, pork cutlets. and the fried apples. Yeah. <laughs> this missed this plate. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna taste it. Mm-hmm. So I got me a little, a little side plate here. Let me get the camera right. I tell you. <laughs> Let me get me a fork.
this camera? Yeah. So. Yeah. You see. Mm-hmm. I got a sample plate. Move his out the way. Let me talk to the Lord. You know we have to do that. Mm -hmm. He makes everything possible. Let's see. The coin. Mm-hmm. When you make two runs, makes it tender. Mm-hmm. See what the apple's talking about. Well, look at the light. It's laid on down. And it's new. It's come off the pole. It's new. I'm going to have to speak to Walmart. I'm going to have to stick with Amazon. Take another bite. Mm -hmm. The pork cutlet had nothing to do with the video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to taste it too. It pulls it all together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to get another bite of the apples. Just to be sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. You hear that? Mm hmm The ginger ale wasn't cold. Mm -mm. Got a whole case over there.
forgot to put it in the refrigerator. Mm. But I found this coat back up in there. I said, oh, yeah. Let me get a drink. Oh, I had a little nervous, you know. Yeah. This right here, this video was about the corn and the apples. Mm -hmm. If you like fried corn and fried apples, try it out. Mm -hmm. Try it out. I think you'll like it. Mm -hmm. Try out Tennessee Northway. Mm -hmm. Cut it off twice. Then scrape the cob. Mm -hmm. Put you some, some, some biscuits with it if you want to. I just wouldn't put none this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... As always, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, mm -hmm. give me a thumbs up, no a thumbs down, but you know I prefer thumbs up, tell somebody about me, mm -hmm. tell them old Tennessee North, <clears throat> she's still at it. Yeah, and uh, tell them if they ain't got nothing to do, just turn it on and, you know, fold your clothes and, you know, tend to the children. Just let it run. Mm-hmm. Just, I don't know. Use it for some listening material. Mm-hmm. But as always, I appreciate you checking me out and watching and, yeah, just spending some time with me. Letting me come in your house and, I don't know, worrying you, mm -hmm. sharing these old recipes with you, mm -hmm. yeah, just trying to keep it simple. These recipes, this whole corn and this half, didn't take no time at all. It was just that simple. It was just, just frying a little corn and frying some few apples. Mm-hmm. Well, as always, I want to thank you. And you know, I'll be back next time. In this video, it was about the apples and the corn. Or the corn and the apples. Mm -hmm. Till next time. And you know it is going to be a next time. Bye now.